Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF 1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Future Cop LAPD. And as we do in every episode, before we unlock the level that we're going to uh, be playing, we kind of need a password for that. So, let's get down to business. I am so full right now. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I just got back from Portland. I, I took my I took my cousin Corey up to up there for kind of like a belated birthday thing. We both had the day off from work, so I took her up up to uh, Fire on the Mountain for some wings and lunch and stuff, just to uh, hang out, because I didn't really get to do anything for her birthday the day that it happened, so, yeah. It's got a funny name, this password has a funny name if you actually say it. Famurgi Bilril. I think things are funny, I don't know if you guys think that or not, but yeah, so it was awesome, but I definitely could have certainly gone with like four or five wings less than what I got, and I probably didn't need to get the huge size of the uh, sweet potato fries, but you know what? I don't fucking care. It was delicious, and I took some I took some uh, enzymes and shit on top of that, so we're we're gold. So let's head off to Venice Beach. It may be a smaller icon on the map, but it's fucking hard. So here we go. Central to X1 Alpha. You know about the turf war in Venice. This is gonna be really interesting. Big Vic Tuna wants our help. He's looking for LAPD Vic to Dutuna. rescue pow -wow with the other. I love how all these guys are the shooting in unison right now. By the way. Big Vic and his How clan cute. can't be trusted. Bunch of psychotic, muscle-bound, steroid-popping, roller-slashing gangster cases. The powwow is on the pier at Big Vic's casino. That That's casino is awesome. If this clam bake that turns is sour, a place that I want to go Big play Vic some craps. Or roulette, because the only thing I'm good at. Okay, my friends, as you can see here, we have now unlocked a couple new things. We now have the hyper-velocity rockets, which I'm totally going to show you, because they're awesome. I know that I love my concussion beam as much as the next guy, but in order to give you guys the whole experience of the game, I kind of have to show you some new stuff. So we got these, and we also got the Plasma Flare Launcher, which is pretty much like a really even cooler version of the Mortar Launcher, so we're absolutely going to use this thing. However, we're going to stick with the minigun. Still don't like that flamethrower. I'll probably use it at some point. Eh, maybe not. So, yeah, dude, today has been, it's been something. And when I was driving back home, uh, I was on Pandora on the 90s, the 90s hits deal. My bet is Big Vic put a hit on you. Well, duh. That's the new plasma flare launcher, by the way. Yeah, it, it, it does rate people pretty good. Those are the new rockets that we've got. So, I mean, realistically, they're, uh... It's, it's actually a pretty good set of weapons. I, I'm down with it, that's, that's for sure. But, uh, dude, I was checking out the uh, 90s hits thing on Pandora. And, uh, dude, some of the songs that came up were way awesome. I got, in a row, I got, um, I got Mambo Number no. 5 by Lou Bega, which is automatically one of the greatest damn things there ever was, right there. Oh, yeah. Boom. That was actually a not as action packed as I thought it would be. The canal door should open now. Um, so there's that, and then the song they played right after that was just as much of a jam. I don't know if you guys remember the song Crush by Jennifer Page, but dude, that song was the shit. All war into in place. Destroy the Bohannon boys. Oh, don't worry, I will. That's illegal entry. <laughs> no, it is not illegal entry. I'm the fucking cops, man. Nothing that I do is illegal. Unless it is, but that is not, because you guys are up to some shit. And I'm gonna tell you what's up, because that's my job as a man. Um, but yeah, so that, yeah, those two songs came on in a row, and I was just like, dude, sick! I love 90s jams, man. They were just so good back then. And earlier in the day, I got fucking, um... I got Back in Time by Huey Lewis. Definitely not a 90s song, but still equally as cool. Show another switch in your vicinity. Find it. Oh, there's definitely some more. I mean, you saw two of them right there. Um, but yeah, dude. I've had an interesting span of 24 hours. I actually um, participated last night at the Coin Jam. Uh, I participated in a Tekken 3 tournament, and I actually came in fourth. Like. I couldn't There's believe it. Here I, can uh, almost it. I absolutely couldn't believe it. I would have never guessed in a million years that I would have placed in a Tekken tournament because of the people that I was competing against. Like, Lige was in that tournament, 
Uh, and I thought he was going to win the whole thing. I actually did better than he did. Like, that's saying a lot right there. Come on, there we go. So, uh, he actually got, like, I think he got, like, fifth or sixth. Now door is open. And, uh, I got, I think I got third. I got third or fourth. And, uh, Lige and my friend Randy, uh, he got second. So, I, but I actually beat that guy, though. I can't believe it. Because he's way, way better than I am. And I, I got super lucky, and I, I managed to beat him. Just, uh, I, I beat him in one of the rounds. And, like, everybody knew it, too. Like, they knew that... He was, like, one of the best guys, and the fact that I beat him was fucking weird. Like, life is weird, man. <laughs> it really is. Life is a weird, weird thing. Okay, so we need to figure out something here. We need to go... I think we need to go across the way. Alright, where are we to go? So all that really did was just bridge the gap. Oh, we got another set of things over here, I understand. So, yeah, dude, it was, it was pretty weird. It was fun, though. I also bought this, uh... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I get it. I get it. You're a big robot. You're gonna shoot me with stuff, because that's what we do. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I'm done with all these, uh... Other robots giving me fucking trouble right now. So, that definitely happened. And then, uh... Afterwards, I go to this bar with Lige because uh, he was uh, he was trying to get with this with this chick, and so you know me me being the wingman of the evening, I I was uh, I was driving, and so we go to this bar, and while he's you know doing his thing or whatever, I decide that I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a beer, and uh, this fucking DJ that was running the music last night was terrible, like he was one of the worst DJs I've ever seen. Okay, I don't... My only problem is I don't remember where that power field was, but he was so shitty. He was, uh... Like, he was playing some karaoke jams. That... That plane just literally materialized out of nowhere. That was really weird. They're really enjoying going on some of these, uh... Suicide missions, though. Oh my god, dude. They're everywhere. The fuck out of my life right now. Hoi! Fuck. Can't go up that way. Um, where can we go? Oh my god, we don't have any more uh, of those rockets left. Well, that's not good. I mean, I guess I should probably be using more of... Where, where do we... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, give me that sky camera. How do we... How do we zoom out? I always forget how to zoom out. Where are we headed? We need to go down there. How do we go down there, though? Okay. So we're up there. So we need to go this way. Okay, I understand now. But yeah, dude, he was he was playing karaoke music, which is fine. Like I have no problem with that. But he was playing karaoke music when there was nobody karaokeing anything. So realistically, he was just playing a bunch of instrumental music that nobody was listening to. And then, uh, and then when he finally decides that, hey, I'm actually going to play some music that people are actually going to fucking care about, he throws on some, uh, some No Diggity by Blackstreet, which, that's like one of my favorite fucking songs that there is in the entire land of the lost. And, uh, so I'm, you know, I'm sitting there drinking my beer and I'm getting into it, and then all of a sudden he just fucking turns it off! <laughs> just, like, right in the middle of the song, he just turns the thing off. How do I get up there? I'm trying to, oh... Man, I'm an idiot. But yeah, dude, he just turned the thing off. And I was pissed. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You we don't recognize your authority here, man. Yeah, well, guess what, man? I've got a bunch of fucking guns, man. So... That's a heavy weapon power-up. Yeah, I can see that. And they gave me a hundred of them, too. How nice of you. I don't recognize your authority here, man. Let me go blaze up some more, man. Fucking yeah. Uh, but yeah, dude, he just straight up turned it off right in the middle of, like, the best part. And then he turned it back on to more karaoke music that nobody was listening to, again. And I was like, what? Like, what is this? Like, why are you torturing me the way that you're torturing me? It's just not fair. <laughs> just be a... you trespassing on private property, man. <laughs> this guy is so cheap. 
He's funny though. I, I like his voice. Oh, I will. Don't, don't worry about that. See, that's the thing that sucks about the... That's the only thing I don't like about these hyper-velocity rockets is that using one charge of it definitely uses more than one actual charge of it. So it's a little bit annoying. But I'm okay with it. But they're very powerful. So, I mean, it's, it's certainly... The juice is worth the squeeze. Mine. Watch out. I know that. I know. You don't need to sit here and tell me about all these things that I've seen before. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's just like, you should never stop playing real music just to play karaoke music that nobody's listening to. Like, that's like, that's gotta be like in the, the book of, the big book of DJing. That's like gotta be against the rules in some way, shape, or form. Oh, I will. Don't, don't worry about me, lady. I, I don't remember what her name is. I don't know why, but I feel like I feel like the name of uh, of our little our little co-captain pilot here. I feel like her name's like Alana or something. She she has a voice that sounds like it would be Alana. I don't know why. I don't even think they even really give away that information personally, but she just has a voice that sounds like her name would be Alana. Maybe I'm maybe I'm way off my hinges here. But yeah, dude, it was uh it was something. You just you just totally don't do that. And I went to uh, Muchas Gracias. Went to Muchas Gracias after I dropped Lige off at like two in the morning. And uh Why are you doing this? What are you doing? <laughs> oh god. That is like the perfect, like, stereotypical stoner voice. What are you doing, man? What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, you you fucking you tell him. You tell him, lady. You, uh, you give him the old what for. Do we go down here? Is this... Ooh, boy. That is a big thing. But, that is absolutely where we're supposed to go. So I guess we're headed down this way. Throat Warbler Mangrove? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, you don't. No. How dare you interfere with my salvage rights? <laughs> what the hell was that all about? <laughs> nice voice, dude. Okay, so let's head over here on the oh, wow, we X1 Alpha. You got a crowd control situation on the beach. Oh, you know, cuz that's really hard to deal with and everything. I know, guys. Stop stop yelling. All your constant moaning and groaning isn't going to change anything right now. That's what my, that's what all my guns are for. Ow. Okay, I guess, guess they're gonna keep on coming out, so I don't really care. There's a jetty that leads into the heart of Big Big territory. Find it. There! That jetty is the only access into Big territory. I should probably be really careful with my usage of these. As I keep on using them, because, you know, I love to take my own advice. Okay, so we need to go up here. This, this level, man. But yeah, I went to Butch's Grossies and I got a uh, bacon burrito, because I was just fucking starving. I hadn't eaten all day, aside the, uh, the Jimmy John's that I had for lunch, which was awesome, by the way, because they definitely had $1 subs yesterday for, like, customer appreciation or some shit like that. People, like, places need to do that more often. Like, if Quiznos did that more often, I'm sure they probably wouldn't be filing for, like, Class 11 bankruptcy, like they're doing right now. I read about that, and I was just like, really? That's just weird. Like, I never pegged them to be the kind of guys that were, like, completely out of money. Or actually, they're not filing for bankruptcy, but they're, they're doing it to uh, protect them from having to go bankrupt or some shit like that. Wow, that is a big big, uh, field there. So many people to kill, man. This is just wild. Okay, uh, what are we looking at here? We need to go back up in order to progress through this. I always forget about this. So I'll end up getting over to a certain point and I'll... I'll be like, dude, I can't figure it out. Why can't I figure this out? 
and now I know. But yeah, I keep getting uh, sidetracked from my story, but I got that bacon burrito, and it was disgusting. It was terrible. No! I didn't mean to do that at all. Fuck, I'm gonna go all the way back around again. But it was just, it wasn't very good. Like, the eggs didn't seem like they were like done all the way through and like they had a really weird consistency and there was barely any cheese on that thing whatsoever and like the uh, the uh, potatoes that were on it weren't very good it just and like the bacon like most of the bacon that I got was like the bacon fat and like not even really much like actual bacon I'm just like well all right I mean I'll eat it I didn't pay for it, because Lige, in his drunken stupor, definitely paid for it. And I was just like, alright, I mean, you know, whatever you gotta do. God damn it, why does that keep happening? It's the second time. I was definitely walking on that. I don't know why that keeps happening to me. But, yeah, it was, it was something. Alright, here we go. I definitely, I went to the liquor store last night, um to go get some uh, Malibu coconut, which, by the way, um, my cousin had, uh, up until today, had never had Malibu before, and I was just like, what? Have you not lived? Have you never put Malibu coconut rum into, like, a slushy from Sonic, or any of those places, or, like, you have not lived yet? What? Dude, it keeps, why is that happening? That is a solid fucking thing. All right, I'm not gonna do it again. Three times in a row. That is that is on me now. That is that is a hundred percent on me now. That that's happening. I, I cannot do that anymore. And we overshot it. And we didn't. Sure seemed like it. Ugh. How annoying. But yeah, I went I went to the store and I went to buy it. And uh, the lady's like, "How old are you?" And I was like, "I'm 26." I mean, <laughs> she's like, "Well, can I see your ID?" And I was like, "Sure, I'll be glad to give it to you." She's like. Like I just I I don't believe it I don't believe it I was like well I'm sorry that you don't believe it but I'm pretty sure that it's uh, it's totally legit she's like you just don't look like you're 26 I was like well be that as it may I am I'm definitely 26 years old <laughs> I was like just you know just to be quaint here exactly how old do you think I am she's like well you know I was I was thinking I was thinking you looked like you, you look almost like you're only like 17 or 18. I was like, what? First of all, what 17 and 18 year olds do you know that look Sorry, like me? Okay, well, as soon as I can figure out how to get up there to Sorry, do that. that before we can see Big Vic. Thank you for repeating yourself twice. Okay, so where is it that we're actually supposed to go to get up there? That's my big thing. Actually, you know what? I think that we need to take this side, if it'll let me. Obviously, we've been having enough problems with that as as of late. We'll try it, though. See, this is the only part of this level that I struggle with, is I, I consistently forget where it is I'm supposed to be going. Ugh, I knew this was going to be a problem. But yeah, and then... I mean, she's like, well, I mean, I guess it's better than me saying that you look way older than you are. I was like, yeah, but... Again, that's not particularly the problem. The problem is that you thought that I looked almost 10 years underage. Alright, something doesn't seem right here. I, I... Where... Where am I missing? I'm missing... So oh, here we go. Hey, that was way off. Oh, this guy's playing my own game against me right now. Okay, there we go. That's, that's the thing I need. And I could also use some of these. We'll need plenty of that as well. Okay, sorry for, uh... Police brutality. Man, that guy's an asshole. That guy's still getting electrocuted to death. Okay, so where's our... Where's our next objective here? You want to cross the bridge. I know that. Thanks for... Pointing out the most blatantly obvious thing there was to point out. Um, okay, so my big question is, how do we get over there? There's got to be an easier way up there. I don't know where it is, though. 
Actually, it's right here. Perfect. Where did you find a nerve to confront me? In a bottle? You've got to cross the electro bridge. Sensors show a switch in your area. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry. I swear, people are so impatient. That switch deactivated an electro bridge. Now you're getting the hang of it. Okay, now we got that one down, so let's go jump to this other side and see if there's another little blinking thingamajig up here, so... The way I see it, we need to get up there. Come on. There we go. That switch lowered the drawbridge. Awesome. That's that's what we needed to do. That's This is good. Now, we can head over here. Yeah, what do you got to say now, big fat ass? You know, he, he knows that I'm coming for him, and he's got nowhere else to go. Now we just gotta get that drawbridge down, somehow. I don't be able to do it. That's a heavy weapon power up. I mean, call me crazy. I, I'm loving all these, like, all the the heavy weapon power ups, but I really would like to have a reloader instead of a power up. That's just me, though. I just, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like it's not really, I feel like it's not really helping me out very much. And it is, but it's not. That's another drawbridge down. Looking good. What drawbridge, though? I didn't see it. Which, which one are we talking about here? Is there one over, oh, it's over here. Okay, awesome. At least I think this was the one. No, that wasn't the one at all. So, hold on a second, where's this other drawbridge at? I didn't see a drawbridge go down anywhere. Oh, it's over here. I read you. I see what's happening. Now, where was the little... the little thing over here? I know there was one. Um... Okay, so... What the fuck? Oh, there it is. I was like, there's gotta be something. The casino barrier is down. Time to pay a visit to Big Vic. Oh, I'm I'm gonna go talk to him. We're we're gonna have a nice little a nice little chat. Like, listen here, Vic. I've got a couple of bullets with your asshole on it. And I don't mean like your actual asshole is on it, but I mean these bullets are supposed to I said the entire thing wrong. That's that's basically what it comes down to. I did not say that <laughs> that term correctly. I meant to say I've got some bullets with your name on it, and I'm going to put them in your asshole. That's what I was trying to say, not, not I have some bullets with your asshole on it. <laughs> it didn't make any fucking sense. Then again, half the things that I say don't make sense, so... Hey, 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 hey here we go! Lactic acid munitions will cool your jets. Did you say lactic acid munitions? That sounds kind of weird. Pretty gross. Definitely weird. Oh yeah, this whole casino, dude. This place is rad. There's definitely some power-up things around here. Like right down... oh, one over here. The other one I think is down there, though, so I think we're just gonna have to roll with it. I think we should be able to take care of ourselves going through this. This is definitely a really long level. This is the biggest house, if you could actually call it a house, that I have ever seen. This is ridiculous. Oh no, we don't. Why are we going down here? I don't know why we came down there, but it didn't help us out at all. Okay, I know we're gonna be getting somewhere here. We just gotta kill all the all the foolios around. There's obviously something else that's extremely important that I'm missing. Where is it? There we go. Um, here we go. This is what I wanted. I don't know what he's doing to that guy, but stop it. Big Vic, the sadistic bastard, isn't he? That wasn't very sporting. <laughs> Afraid to get your feet wet. God damn it, it's another power up. I don't want these. I want an actual reloader. Playtime's over. Now I unleash my dogs of war. Salute. Holy shit, that's a big thing. That's alright though. I can beat this fucker up all day, I think. 
Maybe I can't. Oh my god, I can't. Yeah, I definitely cannot just do that that way. Good lord above. I don't know if we're going to actually make it through this or not. I severely hope so. Boy, he is doing a great job at evading us, though. But I'll open you up like a tin of rotten anchovies. Yeah, well, I'll cut you open like a piece of shit. That's what I'll do. However, we gotta live through it. Come on, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on. He's not gonna be able to take a whole lot of those. Those things do a lot of damage. Oh, come on. I'm just having a hard enough time trying to dodge these fuckers. Cause it's it's getting it's getting heavy. Oh, he's kinda caught in a weird spot. He doesn't really have anywhere to go. Oh, did I get him? Yeah, baby! Woo! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Just fucking run away from him. Yeah! It only took nearly a half an hour, but we got away from him. <laughs> I'd rather be fishing, it says. Alright, well. It was certainly our longest video to date in this series. Oh my god, that thing was... I thought I was going to die. As soon as I went into that fight with that low health, I, I don't think I've ever actually come out of that fight with that low health before, but it ended up working out anyways, so I'm glad it worked. I, I really am. So, I'm not going to... I'll have to uh, wait about an hour or so before I can actually upload this thing. I, I'm going to be leaving to go over to a friend's house. I'm finishing up Breaking Bad tonight, which is going to be awesome. I'm going to do... We're going to watch eight episodes in a row. I got it. I'm on the uh, the last little set of them that was just uploaded onto uh, Netflix like a week or two ago, so I'm pretty pumped for that. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. When we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Future Cop LAPD, we're heading off to the next area that is Hell's Gate Prison. I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to remember if I've actually done this level before. I think that I have, but I've only done it like once or twice, so that is going to be fucking hard. So, until next time, my friends, this is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.